we are. It's a wonderful summer afternoon. It's a little hot. And we're here in Burke Center. Actually, we're close to the uh, Ponds, uh, Ponds Community Center. There are several different community centers in Burke. And the reason I'm showing them is I have a listing right down the street in Burke Ponds. And I want to show you some of the amenities in Burke Center. So take a look at this is uh, Burke Center Parkway. It's always landscaped, always tidy. Uh, just like the uh, rest of Burke, it's a playing community and they want everybody to keep on their toes and keep the neighborhoods well maintained. Let's go have a look around. So here we are at the Pans Pool. Take a look at that pool. It's huge. There's a great kitty area. And this is one of just four pools in the community. We got the ice cream man over here hanging out on this summer afternoon. And then over on the other side is uh, one of the community centers. This is the Ponds Community Center, where you can rent the room for your birthday party or something of that nature. Again, everything's nice and tidy and first class for our Burke residents. So we're walking around this uh, townhouse section. We found the covered bus stop where the kids can wait for the bus. We've got some more exploring to do. Take a look at those townhouses over there. Hello, here we are in one of the two shopping centers inside Burke Center. This is Burke Commons and Walmart. Who doesn't love Walmart? 7-Eleven, Dunkin' Donuts. We love the Great Harvest Bread Company. That bread is fantastic. We used to have a Tippy's Tackle House. Let's see if that's still here. Maybe not. Villa Bella is a great place to entertain some family and friends. And of course, the Dairy Queen's here too. So we have two shopping centers right here in Burke Center and three or four shopping centers right around Burke Center. Really convenient place to live. Depending on which property you choose, you might be able to walk to one. My new listing is right across the street from this one. So lots of convenience, lots of suburban convenience. So we were talking about convenience. Here we are at the Burke Center VRE. This is also just a short walk from the last uh, stop, the Walmart Shopping Center, and just a short walk from my Heron Pond listing. Uh, lots of parking. They added a second garage for more parking. And you'll see there's uh, extra surface parking to your left. Here's one of the little Fairfax connector buses that scoots around the neighborhoods picking up people. Beyond the buses, you'll see one of the uh, little ball fields. You have tons of ball fields. There's walking trails through the neighborhood. A really great family-friendly friendly place to live. I'm here at the uh, Terra Center Elementary School. This is a pretty cool school, actually. It was built as an underground school in the 70s, but that didn't quite work out, so now it's above ground. And it's still very popular. Uh, it's a very high-performing school. We've got our pretty unity and diversity mural over here. So right in the heart of Burke Center, one of the really popular schools, whether it's White Oak, whether it's Terra Center, whether it's Sangster, all great high-performing Fairfax County schools here in Burke. Okay, we're here at the Robinson Secondary Schools. This is the junior high school and high school, home of the Rams. Lots of ball fields, soccer fields, baseball fields. We're going to get up to their stadium here soon. And there's their Golden Ram, one of the top high-performing Fairfax County schools. You see their stadium, all the fields ready to go, tennis courts. I'm going to come around here in front and you can see all the things they've won. Boys gymnastics, girls basketball, girls cross country, scholastic ball, boys swim. Yep, be prepared to perform when you come to Robinson Secondary School. We'll take a little detour here and see the school buses. There'll be buses bringing in students from Burke Center, which is, of course, our focus. And the surrounding Fairfax 
area. So Burke, Fairfax, probably Fairfax Station, parts of Clifton. We're going down the buses only section. You can see quite a few buses will be bringing the children to school. I believe school is going to be open after a year and a half of COVID. All nicely maintained grounds. Here we are in George Mason University. This is a short drive from Burke Center that we were featuring today. We've got the Q bus there. We'll take people around Fairfax City and bring them to the university. Here's one of the signs letting us know that we were all right here at George Mason University. Of course, the Patriot Center is here uh, for concerts when the world gets going again. We have all kinds of connected buses. We're very close to Fairfax City here. Lots of attorneys. It's the county seat, etc. Some dorm rooms, some academic rooms, some parking garages uh, for people to drive here and then go to college. So lots going on right here at George Mason University. Here's one of the preschools over on your left. The George Mason Patriots, basketball teams, all kinds of things. All of this is just 10 minutes from Burke Center.